My question is, how do I not look weird? Being at a bar by myself, sitting by myself, do I approach someone? What do you do at a bar anyway? One of the bars I've seen about going to has good food and is doing a fundraiser on Saturday night. So the fundraiser can work in my favor, right? What do I do to not look stupid being there? Well, as one who ripped and ran in nightclubs all over the country, and most of the time I was by myself, um, this, what I would, would do, I like to go to happy hours. Happy hours better than going, because, uh, you know, there's people, like especially on Thursday and Friday, people from work. So it's going to be kind of a different crowd than, say, if you go on a Saturday night or, you know, you go with, like in some hood bar or something like that. The fact that you're so tiny is a concern also. Can you fight? Do you have bear spray, pepper spray, a stung? I mean, what you got to protect yourself? Make sure before you set foot up in anybody's bar, you have some ba some some backup. Okay, don't just go up there willy nilly. It's not as easy and picnicky as you like to think. When you go in there, if you have a drink and you get up, like you're gonna dance and go to the bathroom or something, that drink is dead to you. When you come back, you push it to the counter. And you tell bartender to give me a fresh drink and a new glass. Okay? Don't ever come back after you left the drink sitting and drink the drink. That's stupid. Okay? That's so risky. It's ridiculous. Likewise, if you have any food and you get up, you leave it. Preferably, you know, you eat your food before you get up. That's what I do. I just be chugging into my mouth and looking like a chipmunk cheeks. But I'm not wasting my money. But I neither am I leaving my plate there so somebody could sprinkle something in my food. I'm not doing that. Um, what you have to do also is make a plan. How you going to get there and how you going to leave. You're going to be drinking. You have to know your limit. So you know how much you can drink before it's time for you to go. Okay. Once you hit that, that limit, like say if you got a two drink limit, mine's about four. But you get about, a, you know, say you got a two drink limit. That's when you, you know, you call your Uber, your taxi your lift, whatever you're going to be getting into, and you carry your little ass home. What you don't want to do is be hanging around there so all them dudes will see you by yourself and you lingering and letting them buy you drinks and, you know, talk to you and all stuff and you feel stuck. You can't get away from them because then they'll be like, well, you know, what you doing after this? You know, you want to come to my place or can I come to your house? And, you, you know, it just becomes a big thing. So what I would like to, when I used to go out by myself, I would kind of club hop. I didn't stay at any one place too long. I'd have a drink at one place and then I'd go to the next place and go to the next. So then by the time they really noticed that I was there by myself, I was gone. You know, I might dance a time or two, something like that if they had music, but I'm not going to be there all night. I mean, you're not going to be all up in my face and occupy my time. I didn't, I didn't roll like that. The other thing, you know, look in the chat stream too. I'm sure a lot of the ladies here, are, you know, old veterans like me, and they can, you know, give you some tips on how they handled themselves. But to me, those are the main things to do, um, you know, to, to make sure that you handle yourself well. You don't want nobody touching you and grabbing you. And, you know, so you don't have any be afraid to be loud if they, you know, start doing inappropriate things. Then you start cussing, yelling, screaming, fighting, whatever you need to do and to make a scene. These days, if it's a scene made, people will film it so that there'll be evidence for the police. So think about that, too. Um, but I do like the idea of a fundraiser. Hopefully it's something like a casino night or something. Those are fun. You know, some auction where you can walk around, a, I don't know, crab feed, something like that, where you have something to do and you'll be at a table with other people that you can talk to. Yeah. But happy hour. I like that better. So think about that for your first time. Um, I mean, this this fundraiser sounds good, but... I don't know. You didn't give me any details about what it is or how long it's going to last when it starts. You know, you didn't give me information. So I think like for your very first foray out by yourself, go to do a happy hour and go to a restaurant bar. So like there's a restaurant and they have a bar in the restaurant. Go there. So it's it's like there'll be families, there'll be singles, there'll be working people, there'll be all kind of stuff there. And it's just a different environment. That's a better thing for you to try. Okay. And report back. Let me know how it works for you. 